Not right now. quickly popping on here my daily vlog or like my week hasn't officially started yet it's still the weekend I always start my weekly vlogs on Sunday but I just really wanted to briefly talk about something before I completely forgot um, my last week's week's vlog I'm actually I, I'm editing it and that's why it's on my mind at the moment there's a lot of like popping and the quality isn't as clear as it has been and that's because I was using my life proof case and yes, it's protecting my phone, but it made <laughs> editing this video painful because I had a lot of good footage and I thought interesting things, but like the popping was really distracting. Um, and you know, like the lighting was really terrible, which it was just my phone. So for this vlog, just keep in mind that the quality will be better. Um, today I actually, I'll show you. Move this out of the way. See, that's the last weekly vlog. But today I attempted to do a DIY slime video. I have my uh, liquid latex and this was my attempt. <clears throat> you can tell it's not slime. So I recorded this part of me making it and I'm gonna be doing a part two to it. Uh, I couldn't find Elmer's glue, which probably sounds like the dumbest thing, but I, I literally could not find it anywhere in Walmart. It, I, I don't understand. Uh, so I had to use a different kind of glue, which you'll all see this in the video when it does come out. Um, but let me see, see, some, these were some of the products I was using. So I found this, which it was just like a glitter glue. But uh, it didn't work well. <laughs> Not at all. So we will be filming my take two um, sometime this week. But I thought that'd be kind of interesting to look at. And I have my ring light on and my camera still set up. That's why it's so bright. But anyways, I will see you guys in a couple of days when my vlog is actually going to start. I'm trying to bite my tongue so badly. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. The nastiest thing happened to me at work today. And I want to do a story time on it so bad. So I'm not going to give anything away in this vlog. But uh, I'm going to go home and record it tonight. But I have a lot of videos scheduled for the next two weeks or so. So I'm going to try to squeeze it in um, soon after this vlog comes up. So you're not like, you don't forget about it. Um, but So considering today, it's really, really snowing pretty hard actually. We just drove home and it was... It was kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. Um, so I decided we would just hang out and I built Ella this little fort. She took it as night time. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe she'll play with it. She was just a minute ago, but if not, her bedtime's in about uh, 20 minutes anyway. So we'll put her down. Uh, but we got the cabinets up. I think you guys saw this briefly last in last week's vlog, um, but I have filled it up. I'll step up here really quick. Don't mind my mismatching socks. <laughs> um, but I just ended up putting all of my mugs in here. Which I have an excessive amount of mugs. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but they're all in here now. Um, kind of out of reach because I don't use them all the time. And then in this one is more mugs. <laughs> there are a couple more mugs that didn't fit over here. Um, and then our wine glasses which will eventually be dangling you know underneath the cabinets with their racks um but anything that has to do um with liquor is going to be up here i do have um two bottles of liquor down here that i'm kind of just keeping on display but like any nips that we have our crown royal glasses our shot glasses um and then again the wine glasses so we got these all filled and we have the knobs for them tj just we misplaced the uh, tool we needed to make sure that they were even, but we'll find those. And then uh, down here, this table has a very brief story. Ugh. Um, the table, it's kind of hard to see, but I was trying to find a table to put over here with two chairs, but I'm now realizing I'm not going to have enough room, so we're actually going to bring that table back to uh, Hobby Lobby. It was originally a $80 table, and I ended up getting it for like... 55 or so so not too bad you can see it a little bit better here what the heck is that receipt 
I actually was just browsing my Facebook and someone tagged me in a post where there was this really, really, really interesting makeup. Um, it, it's, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's a sponge, but it was saying it's comparing it to the beauty blender. It's almost like a silicone. It's see-through, like it's crazy looking, but supposedly it uses like 50% less product, like foundation, than your beauty blender would, so I just ordered it. I don't know how long it's going to take to come in, but I am so looking forward to doing a first impression when it does come in. Imagine if I woke up looking like this every morning. Mm. I took a nap today. I normally don't. But for some reason, I was like extremely tired today. Truthfully, I haven't really been feeling myself this week. I've actually been taking it quite slow on vlogging. Um, yesterday, I was just in a terrible mood. <laughs> but today, I'm really excited. Um, well, not really excited because I'm going to work. But today, I am going back to my original location for Forever 21. So I'm done with the transferred location. <laughs> now don't get me wrong you know like I I, I the, the location that I transferred to was okay I truthfully just didn't feel like I was really well liked by the girls there I don't know why it just nobody really talked to me for like five and a half out of the six weeks that I was there it wasn't until like I was almost transferred back um, did people I mean granted there was like maybe one or two people that kind of like spoke to me in the beginning But I don't know. I just didn't feel very well Welcomed so I'm very excited to be going back So I'll let you guys know like how it is transferring back. I kind of have to like relearn the whole store which is kind of gonna be a pain in the butt and then next month um, I'll still be at the same location, but because I work at a mall the forever 21 is actually expanding so like I have to go back and learn the whole s little store over again and then at the beginning of the next month we all have to learn a big store with men's clothing and active wear included I have nails too by the way which I did myself well speaking of forever 21 I'll let you know how that goes I just I don't have a shirt on so I feel weird <laughs> Um, but I, oh my gosh, look at that. So I did my own nails because I had, um, some acrylic powder that I've had for quite a while. I had the powder, I had the, uh, like liquid for the powder. Um, and then, you know, I had tips and stuff. So I'm like, I really, really love nails. I really want my nails back. But the only reason that I could not keep my nails is, well, A, I hate salons, which most of you, <laughs> you know that. Uh, and B, it just got really expensive. And I'm like, I don't have time for this. I don't have the patience for it. I never get what I wanted done. So I'm like, I kind of just swore off um, getting my nails done. But because I saw like the kit that I had and I'm like, you know what, we'll give it a whack. And like granted, they're not the most... Um, smooth of nails but I think I did a pretty decent job um, even on both hands I'm right-handed so even my left hand looks okay you know from like a distance right 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 I don't know I'm I'm satisfied for them um, you know especially since this is my first time like there is like a lump here but I don't, I don't think I waited for the acrylic to dry enough um, before I started sanding it down and that's why I kind of have that little can you kind of see it a little bit um, on my nails I'm wearing this color speaking of forever 21 no I am not like sponsor I work for them but in no way shape or form would they ever sponsor me so um, I bought this a while ago but I've been really obsessing over nude colors recently um, this is in the color maple I believe I showed it in like some sort of haul or some sort of video and this was my first time wearing it and um, I really really like it I think it is sophisticated and looks very nice but anyways let me um let me go get some clothes on mm. sorry I'm just like cr sitting here criticizing my face I I um I've been really doing actually really well I, I know I haven't really talked to you guys but over the past couple of days or so um, I've been doing really well with not sleeping in my makeup well 
but, but give me a break. I took a nap. I took an hour and a half nap in my makeup. <laughs> um, but I've been doing really good about like taking my makeup off at night and like following a skincare routine both in the morning and at night. Um, but I think it's just about like that time that time and that's kind of why I'm getting broken out broken out because that that was not there last night so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put um I have like a clean and clear acne advantage spot treatment um I had a little one up here which already oh it sounds like Ella's waking up but that already dried out so we'll see what we can't do about this little schmuck so I got to uh straighten out my hair a little bit because after my nap, it just started waving a little bit. It's the only thing that's a pain. Oh. oh, TJ's home. He's actually early. He's usually home in like another hour, but. He caught me, <laughs> caught me in the middle of a uh, vlog. Yeah, I gotta, uh, I gotta re-straighten this. I'm still using that like, um, Teasing, not teasing, it's like a detangling brush and I still really, really love it. But I'm just gonna briefly go over my hair and straighten it out. Um, I actually picked up a new um, hairspray today because I was totally out of my other one. I don't think I've ever tried this one before, but this is the Aussie um, Headstrong Volume Hairspray. It's uh, number three in maximum hold. And I tend to really like Aussie products. First of all, they always smell really, really good. But um, I'm kind of hoping that this hairspray gives me more of like a flexible hold than a crunchy hold because the one that I was using was from, oh my gosh, I think I threw it out. But I know the name of it too. I can't even think of it. I'm totally drawing a blank right now. Um, but it just kind of made my hair really crunchy and made me have to wash it more often than I'd like to. So I'm really hoping that this one will be more just bouncy. So I'm just gonna kind of re-tease myself a little bit up here because I'm losing a little bit of volume. I have a, I have the other half of her pop over here, babe. We will just back comb it just a little bit. I've been trying to take it a little bit easy on back combing because um, I know it's so damaging for your hair. But like, if you guys saw me straight out of the shower, I looked like a drowned rat. <laughs> my hair is very, very thick, but it like, it's flat, 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 and it poofs at the side. And that's why I'm always teasing it. So let's give this a quick spray and see kind of what my first initial thoughts are. Um, also, while I'm spraying, I just want to thank you guys. My, um, Sephora, like mini Sephora haul with my Makeup Forever products and my um, Anastasia product just came out today and it's only been up for like 20 minutes and I've already gotten some sweet comments and you guys are so nice and you always make me feel so good. Um, there are a lot of like videos I'm excited about coming out in the next couple of weeks but I always just like to thank you guys when I can and I'm also considering, I saw that Facebook is now doing that like live thing so I'm kind of considering maybe like I don't know this is all maybe so I don't take anything to heart but I'm thinking about maybe doing like chit chat live streams maybe like every other week on Thursdays when TJ's home like as I'm doing my makeup and doing it through Facebook because it's just you know another platform to like reach people who may not have found me otherwise. I don't know, I gotta do my research into it. If you guys know anything about <laughs> Facebook Live, the live fil the live feature, I know how's it, no, why can't I talk? <laughs> and know how it works, um, please let me know. And next week, um, next week's vlog will kind of be interesting at the very beginning. I'm just kind of updating you guys as it's coming to my head um, because I ordered a waist trainer because it's not even about like wanting to lose like inches or whatever. It's just I have these protruding ribs, these like floating ribs that always made me feel really insecure. And I've been doing a lot of research about waist training recently and I'm really interested in it. So next week we're starting waist training. So that will be really interesting and uh, kind of fun. So that's something to look forward to. 
but this hairspray does smell really really nice so I'm gonna uh, kind of let it settle and then uh, let you guys know you know does it stay crunchy does it kind of stay flexible can I play with it or not um, but anyways I gotta head out I got some mail to go through and then um, I gotta leave for work in about a half hour so I'm gonna try to scarf down some food real quick too oh my gosh so I'm about to head into work I'm actually like very quickly heating up um, our lunch from earlier so I can scarf some down because that'll be like the last time I eat till I'm home again tonight but I just got a very much needed phone call I'm so excited um, I'll talk a little bit more about that phone call when uh, I have to go somewhere on Wednesday to confirm a few things so I just want to let you guys know that later in this vlog we might hear some really good news some of the unexpected news probably for you guys but I'm trying to not like tell you guys things or like promise you guys things unless I know for sure that like I can follow through on them I just don't like disappointing you guys and if I can't you know stay true to what I said or like things change I don't I just don't want you know people to get upset at me and be like well you're saying one thing and then doing another so I've been trying to like keep some things on the down low until I know more about them but Wednesday I'll be able to talk about it a little bit more but I'm gonna eat I made some um American chop suey earlier which is literally just pasta hamburger and sauce it's so simple but it is hands down one of my favorite meals ever by the way what was that um idea you had about the um not oh, drinking and dri <laughs> no oh, the not, not drinking and idea. driving thing the the racing game you're talking about not my idea it's, it's not the game it's a, it's a drinking game oh i'm on camera <laughs> yeah, i'll get you off of camera I'm kidding. but I'm kidding. It's so a it's a drinking, drinking he was telling me about play a video game traditionally play with Mario Kart and what, baby? the game is you have to finish your beer before you finish the finish line before you cross the finish line but the one rule is you can't drink and drive so never drink and drive <laughs> if you're if you hit go and you just go right away you gotta know eventually you gotta pull over and stop Chug Imagine if that was real life. Eh. Officer, I swear at the time I wasn't driving while I was chugging this. <laughs> pulled over. I pulled over. <laughs> so you just gotta pull over. You know, you can pull over a couple times during it, but you gotta, you know, the hard part is, is just pulling over without getting like hit. Because in Mario Kart, yeah. you know, you got all Well, because we've been trying to think of like fun date night ideas because we actually, turns out TJ and I both love playing pool and we found a pool hall our last date night which was a lot of fun but like we don't always want to spend money on date nights and stuff and sometimes we might just want to have a date night inside no there's not <laughs> I was thirsty. <laughs> he smelled my coke. Oh my goodness. It's because I got the Captain Morgans not long ago. I'm going to work. No drinking and driving, babe. I'm about to get in my car, remember? I'm sorry about that. He smells my coke. I wanted to take a sip. I didn't want to drink. There's nothing in here. That I can taste. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I almost just took my kid out. But that that's kind of a... What are you doing? It's kind of a... <laughs> beautiful it's kind of a fun date night idea and um the problem is i don't think we have any <laughs> she always every time i record in the kitchen she always circles me Whoop! <laughs> hi they love seeing you hi baby hi girlfriend but we don't have any we don't have uh, <laughs> we don't have mario kart or we have that we have like one still? i think we have the console but i don't know Ooh, ouch. we have a controller yeah, but I don't think I... I think we have that, like, one speed racer game for the Xbox, but even then, I don't know where it is. I'll find it. Um, I'll find it tomorrow. I don't know. All right, I'm going to eat really quick, and then we'll head out. I'm at Walmart right now because I was going to pick up some hot dogs for Ella. She actually really loves them, and I'll usually make them with, like, baked beans or like mac and cheese or some sort of side dish so we're totally out I usually freeze them but I want to pick some up for her and I want to go in the toy section because I really enjoyed the last time that I did 
uh, do you remember the Lego, I don't know if everybody saw it, but there was a Lego video that I did not long ago and I really enjoyed it. Honestly, it didn't get that many views, which is okay. That's not what I'm looking for, but it was a really stress relieving thing. Sorry, I'm just trying to find it. It was really, really stress relieving. So I want to see if I can't find like a little set to do myself tonight. Usually they're like in these middle things, but I'm not actually seeing them. I think they're just harder to find because it's like the middle of winter. I don't know if you heard the announcement though. It's 11.30. We got out of work quite late. I need to find these wieners. Okay, so we have turkey wieners. <laughs> we have beef. I don't, I don't know if she likes beef or not. There's like a certain brand that I always pick up, but you know what? We're going to give them a try. Plus, I think these have more in them anyways, so. All right, now we're gonna head off to the toy section. Well, I also actually stopped at Charming Charlie's before I went into work, and I bought a new bag. They had a lot of stuff that was on, um, they had like a 50% off sale section. <laughs> they had a 50% off sale section, and I was trying to find um, a bag for $25 or less, because that's what I had the gift card for, and I found one for, I think it was for $23. I'll show you guys it when I get at home, though. Ooh. Oh. It's so loud. But check these out. These are like new blind bags, I think. What? What the heck are these? <gasps> guys, I'm going to buy one because I'm really curious. We'll open it when we get home. Oh my gosh, this guy is like, oh, oh my gosh, look at all these blind bags. <gasps> Oh, I'm such a child. Oh, and it got really quiet. Oh my gosh, look. <gasps> They're tiny pops. Oh, look, there's Pocahontas. Spider Gwen. Oh. Okay, so they have stuff like this, but I feel like especially the Moana one, it's going to be very expensive. So I'm trying to find more of just like, a, I don't know. I, I saw some examples like... <sighs> We have some Angry bird stuff. Oh, wait a minute. 12 bucks. What the hell? Well, or... Do you ever find yourself going to the store and just walking out with the most random items? Like, I literally... <laughs> all I went and I ended up just buying the blind bag and the hot dogs. And it was so awkward checking out because all I could think the entire time was like the cashier is secretly wondering why the hell this girl is coming at 11.30 at night to Walmart to buy these two items. Like, I'm going home to eat my wieners and play with my kids' toys. I literally felt like that's, that's what she was thinking. But anyways, I reheated up my food from earlier because I didn't have time to finish it and I'm very hungry. It is midnight. I'm actually still really tired from earlier. Like I took that nap, but it just, it wasn't enough. I've just been really, really tired. I think I've just been overly stressed out recently to the point where my body's just like, nope, like I'm just not doing this. Uh, but I gotta get these in the freezer. We will open up this blind bag in just a minute, but before I forget, because I don't, I, I know I'm gonna forget to talk about it, uh, the hairspray that I used earlier, um, you know, I had it in the entire shift, and I feel like this is one of the only hairsprays that I've used where I felt like I didn't have to re-tease my hair, which is amazing, which means it has such nice volume. Now, I did find, like, one crunchy strand, but I feel like maybe I just got a little too close to my hair with the hairspray. Like, that's not the hairspray's fault. That's the user's error. Um, but I'm really loving this, so... I think this may make it onto my next favorites. And I was gonna do a January favorites, but I feel like we're way too far ahead into January. So I think in February, um, I'll just do a combination of like all the products I've been loving for this year so far. Uh, also, I wanna do, I was thinking about not vlogging tomorrow, which is 
only Tuesday. Like it's all, it's still the beginning of the week. Um, but I'm kind of considering it because I got this bag that I'm gonna show you really quickly. Move my chair out of my way. But I was gonna do like a what's in my bag, like take the stuff out of my pink bag and put it into this new bag. Um, but I'm so happy with it. First of all, it's enormous, which I live in my pocketbook and I just make things fit. Um, it is kind of white, which I'm always afraid of because I can't keep things white. Um, but I did have a white bag for years and years and years and years, which, you know, after a while got dingy, but it lasted a really long time. Um, I just loved the size of it. I loved that it would go with anything. Um, I liked that I had gold hardware. For some reason, I've been really into gold recently. I was always a silver person. Um, now I've been getting into gold. And like, I wouldn't say this is like, wow, what a gorgeous bag, but it's practical, which is what I need. And it was only 23 bucks. Like I'll even show you the tag was originally, was originally for 40, which is still cheap. I mean, I don't ever buy like really good bags for myself. I, I've never bought in a designer bag. So it was originally 40 and I got it for... $22.99, which means I still have two bucks on that gift card, but um, I'm kind of debating on doing a, um, shoot, my white balance is freaking out. I'm kind of debating on doing a what's in my bag. I haven't done one in a couple years, I don't think. You know, I'm going to wait. I'm going to like fill up my pocketbook, use it as I normally would, but let me know, like after watching this vlog, let me know if you guys want an updated what's in my bag and it'll be this bag and I'll gladly film it for you I just don't want to film it and post it if nobody's interested all right let's move on because I'm gonna eat soon and continue watching silence of the lambs which mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my first time ever seeing that movie it was from 1991 crazy all right so I want to scoot you in closer but you're kind of leaning on my bar right now so I'll just bring myself in closer so I saw this and I don't know it just all right right here it says in association with a national geographic they're called animal jams adopt a pet so it's going to come with one pet two accessories one checklist and one exclusive online game uh, code. It does recommend five plus because it does have small uh, parts, but I love buying blind bags. I just, I couldn't find a cheap enough Lego set. The Assassin's Creed ship that I bought, I got at Target, um, I got at Toys R Us maybe like a week before Christmas and it was on clearance for 20. Now these like little sets that I was seeing were like 30 and up. Like I know that Lego is expensive, but I was like, Maybe I'll just have better luck and like a better variety at an actual toy store. Uh, actual toy store. So I figured I'll just wait. I'm not used to these na <laughs> these damn nails. <laughs> Whatever. Some people might be so grossed out that I did that, but truthfully, I don't care. All right, let us open this up. So it's just the cellophane or the plastic peels right off. Um, then the little cardboard piece comes off now. Okay, so I'm looking at the bottom and it looks like I can open it up from right here. Maybe I can dim my ring light because I feel like you guys are like too bright or at least adjust it a little bit. That's a little bit better. I just, I have such a hard time filming at night with one ring light because it's like, it's just terrible lighting. Um, so I try to avoid filming at night, but inconveniently, that is the most convenient part of my day to film. Okay. So I'm trying to open it from the bottom, but I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the roof is kind of, I don't, I just don't wanna like break it open. I'm trying to find, it looks like they're, oh, okay. So that looks like hinges, what I was just, what the heck? This is giving instructions on how to open it because I can't, I can't open it. What the heck? 
I'm just so, I'm so afraid to break these nails. I worked so hard on them and they still look like garbage. So I'm, I just, I want to make them try to last. Ouch. Ow. That really hurt. Ow. Okay. What the heck? Well, excuse me for, you know. Okay, there's stuff in it. <laughs> Excuse me for 15 minutes while I try to get this damn thing open. Are you kidding me? I'm actually going to like have to look up how to open this damn thing. This thing is for five-year-olds, literally. Okay, so I totally just Google image searched Animal Jam unboxing. And it looks like the front door. That was not. Mm -mm. Okay, so it just opens in the front like so. And it looks like we have this little plastic piece which I can't tell what we have but I'm already kind of bummed out because I love the blind bags that have like the double blind bag like the Shopkins when they had the um uh yellow packaging I just think it's like that much more fun um, but that's fine now let's try to get this <laughs> let's try to get this out all right let's see who we have okay so I still can't tell right away because it's kind of folded in with the pamphlet or the checklist oh my god not right now because I want to get in the damn shower and eat my food okay so let's see who we have for oh look he's really cute so we got this I'm assuming what is a uh, kangaroo so he's purple and it looks like he has um, like pink glitter in his ears. He is really, really, really adorable. Um, so then they come with two accessories, with the, which the accessories are really small. I mean, I can see why they say five plus. So we have like, I mean, I was kind of holding it by the, um, it has almost like a little microphone. It's like a headset with a microphone and then it looks like... I don't know what the heck this is. It's just like this little yellow piece and then it has a hole on the other side. I don't know. Um, and then this, okay, this is just the online game code. I'm curious to see the checklist. I wanna see what other animals we can get. Wow, holy smokes. That is quite a bit. So let me see if I can't find who we got really quick. These are adorable <laughs> okay so I see the blue version of what we got which its name is Joey I'm just trying to find um, the purple the purple one okay it's right up here so Joey and kind of like the Shopkins it has like the rare uh, a diamond gem or ultra rare there's 96 and this is series one <gasps> You guys let me know because I'd be really excited to get into this I got into Shopkins really really late in the game so now that like this is a season one thing and this is the first time I've ever seen it I've, I didn't see any video of this I just went to the store and found them please 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 let me know if you would like to see unboxings of these because I'll be all for that um, <laughs> but our Joey here has a star next to it which means it's a gem so it's not rare and it's not ultra rare. I'm not really sure. Like, let me show you. See, so it says rare, diamond, gem, and then ultra rare. So I'm not really entirely sure. But I'll go ahead and stick the little... Oh, okay. So it has a hole on the top of its head, which that's what the headphones sit in. Okay. I'm wearing those headphones a little wonky there <laughs> uh, but I don't I still don't know what the heck this thing is for and um, on the picture it shows at least her wearing the uh, I don't know is this supposed to be like a gem like do you get a diamond a clover or a star with them all I don't really know it doesn't look like a gem it looks like uh, yellow hexagon so I, I don't I'm not really sure about that we'll just throw that out <laughs> um, but anyways you guys I am gonna go watch my movie 
and finish eating my food. So I hope you enjoyed today and I am so, 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 so glad to be back at my original location. Work was awesome. I'm so happy. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Turn off. All right, so I know our vlog is actually getting a little bit lengthy at this point, but I told you guys that when Wednesday rolled around, I would be able to talk a little bit more about what I mentioned earlier in the vlog. So I had a job interview and I just didn't want to say anything until, you know, I went to the interview, see how it went, and uh, I got the job. I got the job. So I'm going back to waitressing. Um, I like Forever 21. I really did enjoy working there. It wasn't a bad job. None of that. It, it just simply, I wasn't making enough. And with waitressing, you're unlimited to how much you can make. Truth, you know, you work for tips and stuff. So, you know, there's not a set salary and if I'm gonna leave my house and leave my kid and leave my family, it has to be worth it. And the commute to Forever 21 now, it just, it wasn't worth it anymore. And I am gonna miss the girls. Um, I do have to go in for orientation tomorrow. And then like, um, I actually, I'm gonna talk to my boss during this weekend and uh, I'm probably gonna work with Forever for like the week that I'm scheduled. Cause they always do it like the week before they schedule you for the next week. So. Because I'm already scheduled, I'll just stick it out for another week and then um, we're moving on. But I'm so excited. I got me a drink. <laughs> I'm going to edit some videos. TJ's playing Call of Duty. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. 2017 is already turning out amazing. It's turning so many things around that I was so stressed out about in 2016. And it's only the beginning. <laughs> so I'm really excited to see what the rest of this year will bring us. So. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next week. Bye.